also the story of a grocery store willing to take a chance. This is the heart of downtown New Orleans. Construction is booming, buildings standing tall, and towering above all the traffic, the Superdome and City Hall. But look what else is growing high in the sky, a rooftop vertical garden above Rouse's Market in the French Quarter. Jack Trouting is in charge of the Roots on the Rooftops garden at Rouse's. Herbs are everywhere, growing in these aeroponic water towers and being picked, served, and sold right downstairs. This is the epitome of local. We, we track from uh, rooftop to the produce department at about 100 steps. So we're, we're as local as it gets. These towers have no soil, just water, which allows the plants to grow faster. Do you plan on this growing, no pun intended, to other stores? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, well, we're, we're going to grow up even more. We actually have uh, already put in plans to double the size of this farm. Uh, we're looking at a couple of our other locations. Our facility planning for this already would allow us to grow enough vegetables and herbs to support six other stores. So we are reducing the refrigeration, the diesel, the transportation of uh, bringing product in from California or from the Northeast Coast. Doug Jacobs and Kevin Morgan Rothschild head up the firm offering the vertical plant production systems. Urban agriculture is their business and growing new methods of farming is their future. Doug, show me how this tower works because they're actually growing in air and water, right? Yeah, so these are vertical aeroponic tower gardens. At the bottom here we have a 20 gallon reservoir. Water is pumped up the center to a rain cap. There's a shower cap with a bunch of holes at the top and so the water trickles down onto the roots of the plants. So if you pull this plant out here, you see the beautiful white roots and they're quite literally growing in air. Doug and Kevin are selling and installing the towers across the country, even in Alaska. And so how many times a year can you do this system? With these towers, we can harvest about 12 times a year. Rouse's brought in the two young farmers, their first big client, to install and plant the garden. It's incredibly exciting. It's a great start. It's, I couldn't have asked for anything more that Rouse's would, would get this technology, put it on the roof, start serving the food down in the stores, and then expand upon it. This is where it all began for Doug and Kevin. Their first test installation of 20 towers at Holly Grove Market and Farm, where their lettuce is sold to locals. So how did you get into all this? Because you just graduated from college. Yes, I did. Uh, well, I saw it and I uh, started, uh, you know, I wanted to build my own. I got this manual off the internet and I started, you know, I got my friends involved and we started putting together. And then a bit later I met Doug at Tulane through this uh, social entrepreneurship institute. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> and now you guys are full swing in business. Yes, it is. We can't, it's, we've got too many projects on our hands. It's not too bad for a year out of school. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's really important for me as a consumer. Um, you know, so much of the stuff you get in the grocery stores is packed, unripe. It's kind of it's, it's shipped across the country in you know refrigerated trucks, and by the time it gets you, it's been two weeks out of the fields. And stuff like this, and the nutrients kind of degrade over time. This stuff is cut, and it's literally in the market within hours. Back at Rouse's, the lunch crowd is packing in. The hottest item on the menu today, pizza, topped with, you guessed it, roof-raised basil. This is the uh, fastest and freshest pizza. We took a short elevator ride, 90 steps to the department. We've got fresh basil, fresh but mozzarella. Just yeah, oh. just picked it two, two minutes ago. All right, we have to eat. Oh, yeah, yep. by all means, give it a shot. That's fresh. Cheers. Cheers. And that's going to do it for us this time. We thank you for traveling the country with us on this edition of America's Heartland.